what's going on YouTube? We're here at the Cape Liberty Cruise Terminal in Bayonne, New Jersey. Got a huge Verizon site in front of us. In fact, Verizon definitely works the best out of all the carriers here in the port. And uh, I would say in North Jersey in general. In front of us, we've got uh, some, what I'm guessing are Navy ships under recommissioning or renovation, whatever you want to call it. And then the port is right here and around the corner you've got the check-in area for the cruises. We're going on Royal Caribbean's Liberty of the Seas to Bermuda and back six nights and tons of car parking all around. So there's thousands of people in this area and yeah let's get testing. We'll test all three real quick before my wife yells at me. All right starting out we've got AT&T and we're showing 5G Plus, which if I remember correctly, last year at this time, I don't recall getting 5G Plus at the terminal here. And I have no idea where this T-Mobile signal is coming from because I don't see any other cell sites in the immediate vicinity. So it's either coming probably from across the bay over there or somewhere across all the cruise terminals over there. You can see Hudson Yards in the distance. So not a good look for AT&T, 55.1 on the down. Terrible loaded ping times, unloaded at 100, which I thought was only a Binghamton thing, but apparently not. And I can tell you from driving in that that's pretty much what you're gonna get out of AT&T. Let's try the fast.com real te uh, test real quick and see if it's any different. It's looking like it's not going to be different at all. Yeah, not really different. So maybe it's just a lot of congestion for AT&T or there's no site nearby. Although now the speeds are picking up a little bit. So we got close to 100 down, but still not great for mid-band. The loaded ping, 1.8 milliseconds, uh, more proof that the fast.com test, uh, not always trustworthy and reliable. 62 unloaded, which I kind of believe that. And the upload speed is struggling to finish, but it looks like we're going to get close to 40. <clears throat> Yeah, well, it may not finish because fast.com. Oh, there it goes. 37 megabits per second. Let me switch over to, to the iPhone and we'll record with the Pixel next. All right, we've got the iPhone 16 Pro Max. We're going to do this Verizon test right here. Tower site directly in front of us with mid band on it. No CBRS though, which is interesting. Uh, so, yeah, but before we do that, quick shout out to Circled In, the video sponsor. They can help hook you up with a wireless plan that meets your needs without having to start your own. And uh, that is an old result that is not from here. So yeah, let's thank our sponsor and then we'll be right back. Today's video is brought to you by Circled In. Circledin.com makes it super easy to get the benefits and savings that come along with a postpaid or prepaid wireless account without having to set one up yourself. Let's take just a second to see how easy it is to use circledin.com and save a ton of money on your wireless. Starting out on the circledin.com homepage, I would start by clicking all circles. Once the page loads, you can sort by postpaid or prepaid providers like Verizon, T-Mobile, Google Fi, Simple Mobile, and Metro. If you see a plan that piques your interest or you feel fits you best, you can click join circle read through more details about the plan, and if you decide to go for it, you can click Reserve. Circled In also now supports streaming services like Netflix, Disney, Hulu, HBO Max, and more. Circledin.com, check them out today. Thank you again for supporting the channel. All right, welcome back. We got the test fired up and ready to go. 51 millisecond ping, which is okay, I guess. And we're breaking a thousand on Verizon Midband. This is uh, something that is very rare to have happen back in upstate New York on Verizon, unless you find millimeter wave like in Albany or Syracuse, Buffalo, Rochester, those areas. So 1,306 on the down, 
50 one millisecond unloaded ping like I mentioned. The loaded ping times are great. Upload at 110. So if you're trying to get, uh, if you're, I just realized the phone was out of frame, I'm sorry. So if you're trying to get your cruise photos uploaded when you come back, 110 uh, is definitely more helpful than other providers. Let's uh, switch over to T-Mobile real quick and we'll see how they're doing. Uh, again, T-Mobile, no immediate cell site in the area that I can see anyway, so I don't expect these results to be too amazing. Let me switch that uh, provider over right now. We close that out, close the speed test, reload it. We'll give it a second to collect its thoughts here. And let's go, let's see how we do. Sun is right in my face. 62. Well, now the ping times are all over the map. So now T Mobile is showing three out of four bars. But again, these results are not surprising. I'll move away from the wall here so we have clearer line of sight to the other side of the terminal. about two megabits per second on the upload, so not good. We'll run T-Mobile one more time just to see if it makes a difference at all. <coughs> so better ping times, but still terrible download. Some of it might be due to congestion, but again, no uh, immediate cell site in the vicinity for T-Mobile that I can see. I didn't even see one on the way in. So that's a little bit better, 61.7 on the down. And all the ping times still look good, except the upload uh, is getting kind of high there. Jitter at 8 milliseconds. So yeah, I'm going to chalk this one up to T-Mobile just not having a site nearby. Still very usable speeds, at least for the download portion. Uh, your upload's definitely going to struggle. So if you're coming to the Cape Liberty Cruise Terminal, you're definitely going to want to have a Verizon line with you for the best wireless experience.